Hi, it's Mark Atkinson from the £100,000 in 90 day challenge. Now, all this is great, but you're probably actually thinking, who is Mark Atkinson and you know, why should I really listen to him and what's his story? So, I'll just take a few moments to actually tell me a bit about myself. Now, one of the biggest challenges that I've had, although I don't really see it as a challenge, actually it's a blessing in disguise, was after I was born, it wasn't until I was about three years old they were discovered that I had a hearing loss. I'm actually deaf and I actually wear hearing aids uh, as a result. Now, I didn't start talking to properly until I was about five and when I was talking at the age of five, I was talking like a three-year-old because I had a lot of catching up to do. But not only that, English effectively wasn't my first language. When they discovered I was deaf, I was signing. And I was signing only. And they were all desperate. All my teachers, my parents were desperate to get me talking. And I've got some beautiful videos. And if you're lucky enough, I might share it with you of me when I was five years old, that I'm actually signing as I'm talking. And I'm, they're actually trying to stop me to, to sign in that video when I was five because they wanted me to develop my voice. Now, back then I only had a severe hearing loss. I'm now profoundly deaf in my left ear. I'm severely deaf in the right ear. Now, although I'm left-handed, I always pick up the phone and hold it to my right ear because it's easier, I can hear better. I'm pretty much profoundly deaf in my left ear. Now, to me, it was a blessing in disguise. It made me work harder, made me fight back. But it hasn't been an easy ride. In fact, it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a ride. When I left university, when I was back, 1920, I went through a period of depression and it was a really hard time and I literally hit rock bottom. And although it was hell, some of the best days of my life was at rock bottom because when I looked up, there was only one way and that was up. For the first time, I could see a light at the end of the tunnel. It made me really take stock and take responsibility for my own life. I started researching, I started reading, I was in and out of the library. And that was about that time I got into the Rich Dad Poor Dad cash flow quadrant. And it was about taking responsibility for your own financial future. Um, cash Flow 101 by Richard Kiyosaki. And that was about 2003 and 4, and I was hooked all about creating businesses, creating opportunities for yourself, taking responsibility, and having a better understanding. Because at that point, I had no idea about how finances work, interest rates, commodities. I didn't know any of this lingo back then. And that really, that, that rock bottom moment. I wouldn't change that for the world because it made me take responsibility for my own life, learning, keep going. And I'm here now. And it's, you know, so it doesn't matter how bad things are now for you. It's about being grateful for the things that you have got. That's the biggest thing I came across was The Secret by Rowanda. Brian, and you can get that on YouTube, the full movie. Now, you might have to pay for it, I don't know, but the stuff she covered, if you're focusing on the bad, what happens? You're going to attract more bad things in your life. If you choose to change a channel on your own mind's eye of what you do want, instead of focusing on what you don't want, which you'll just get more of, focus on what you want. The law of attraction is state. If you focus on the positive, what experiences, positive experience, do you want? Bring them into your life. Know that good things are coming your way. And stop thinking about the negative thing. 
deal with the negative things if you have to, if you're struggling with debt, whatever. But once you set up a debt repayment plan, forget about it. Trust that it'll work and move into abundance. Move forward. Make plan, make decision, plan, plan. That's the important thing, you must plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Simple as. When I got this lesson, I made a quantum leap, I really did. So take responsibility for your life, please. Because if you don't, you will fall into someone else's plan. I'm part of somebody else's plan, but I'm doing what I can and what it takes to move forward, achieve financial freedom, to, to, to set up my own business, one-to-one -one coaching. This is me taking responsibility for my own health. Are you willing to do the same? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, giving you a better understanding of myself and why and how I've got here and why I want to make a difference, not only in my own life, but help other people that want to join me on their own journey through the membership programme if you wish. So, thank you very much and best wishes. That's Mark Atkinson from the £100,000 in 90 Day Challenge.